welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in my name is Bundle and welcome back to my channel today I'll be reviewing not reviewing as such creating a look using the beauty treats 24 rose gold palette I'll be creating this look that you see over here so stay tuned if you wanna see how I do that Fresh and Fit Awake Primer Glow Healthy Yes So You can apply Your foundation Before you Apply your primer But other people they do Apply their the foundation before the primers and then I'm just gonna apply it with my brush I don't wanna using the Fit Me Maybelline foundation I'm in a shade 332 let me show you hmm the camera is not focusing And guys, I already done my my brows off camera, but if you want a tutorial, I'm sorry, if you want a tutorial while applying my eyebrows, please comment down below so that I can show you how I do my brows. And I'm gonna use my brush. Oh, look at my brush. It's not clean. I just want the full coverage. As I want full coverage. So it means I must go with another pump of my foundation because I just want the full coverage Guys, if you are applying your foundation and your brush is leaving lines, then you can go over with your your beauty blend your beauty blender just to blend it nicely into your face. If your brush is leaving lines. And the rest of my face so I'm not gonna apply more of a I'm not gonna apply more foundation on my face so I'm just gonna go just get that coverage Then I'm gonna go with my beauty blender. Guys, if you wanna buy beauty blenders, you can get them at Discam and Clicks. Cause I buy most of my beauty blenders at at Discam. Then I'm gonna go with my. Hmm, what's next? As you can see, my forehead it's still darker. I'm gonna try to um, to apply just a little bit of a foundation, so that I don't look like a ghost. But when I can't draw, 
it will get much better then the next step I'll be going with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade medium beige in the shade medium beige just to apply it on my lid here so that I don't crease when I apply my eyeshadow eyeshadow then I'm gonna go with my mini beauty blender just to blend it out guys I feel like the beauty blender is sucking a lot of product but then it blends so nicely but it sucks in so lot 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 of product yeah then i'll be setting that using my beauty blender Then the next step I'll be setting my highlighter using my Yardley translucent powder like that. Just like that. Hmm. Then when I'm done baking, I'll be contouring my face using my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. As you can see, I've hit pen the side. I'm using this shade to contour my face. Guys, today I'm going with the just a simple... If you wanna purchase this palette guys you can get it from Discam. yeah clicks I'm not sure but I got it from Discam, and it was 99 rand it's a 24 rose gold palette from beauty treats it's been six months using this beauty palette guys and I'm so so in love with it and I'm happy with the pigment this is how it looks it's full of shimmers so I'll start with this shade over here as my transition color. Then I'll be blending it out with my blending brush, my fluffy brush, like this. So guys, the way this palette, it's so pigmented, there's no need for you to 
use a lot of product so you just have to dab in just a little so that you can get the look that you really want yay so in love with this palette and the price it's so bomb for the pigment like guys beauty treats this brownish shade here yeah. i'm just going to go above my transition color So I don't want this my transition color to be so 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 over over pigmented. I'm just applying. Then with a different brush, I'm gonna go with this brush. And I'm gonna go with the lighter shade with the shade over here it's a shimmery shade just on my lid huh. I'm just gonna build the product just like that then I'm just gonna go back with the same brush just to clean where I've made a mess just to clean over there And voila and then I'm gonna take my my brush to dust off while I'm dusting off I'm just gonna dab a little here Then underneath my lower lashes here, I'm going to take my, my glam, my glam gel pencil. I got this from Clicks. Then I'm going to go with the shade over here, just underneath, to apply it underneath there. to put them in even right now I don't feel like they're in the way I want so yeah the lashes that I put is natural and soft lashes it's 3d eyelashes I bought these lashes by a beauty store but you can find lashes at discam and clicks even essence has lashes so yeah then the next step that i'll be going with now i'll be um i'll be putting blush tonight 
I'll be using my face design highlighter. It's a highlighter, it's blusher and a bronzer. This is how it looks. I got this from Edgar's. So I'll be going with this shade. Just like that. Guys, let me show you how this let me swatch it for you this highlighter oh no why are you disappointing highlighter please come through but you'll see when I'm highlighting I highlight all the places that I have highlighted with the concealer. Mm. And even the side. Then I'll be going with my smaller brush just to highlight the bridge of my nose. not too much I don't like highlighting my my the bridge of my nose too much just normal and then I'll be going with my forehead highlighting my forehead forehead hmm look at that shine <laughs> uh, so the lip gloss that I'll be going with it's my new signature luxurious lips this is how it looks yeah Then the last step, guys, I'll be setting my face using my MOD Makeup Finish Spray. Then guys, this is the final look that I've managed to come up with. Please comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to know all of the products that I've used, where I buy them. And please guys, don't forget to subscribe and like and share my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you to my next video.